Through Monday, March 28th, there were 67 triple doubles in the NBA this season, the second most in any season since 88-89 when there were 78. So why are players today stuffing the stat sheet so often? The, the change in the way the game is being played, uh, there's more space. Um, again, with more shooters on the floor, you have the opportunity for more assists. And, uh, and then when you have the opportunity of uh, shooting more jump shots, you have the opportunity for more rebounds. There are five categories in which you can triple-double. Points, rebounds, assists, steals, and blocks. Steals and blocks are fairly rare when you talk about triple-doubles, but perhaps it's the pass that distinguishes players the most. I think, you know, the assist is, is hard because you can also get, you know, 10 turnovers, but um, as the game's going to go forward here, I think the assist will become, uh, you know, right there with the points because you have so many shooters on the floor. Normally, the league produces about 35 triple-doubles a season, one every 36 games. This season, the league is doubling that rate. In terms of individual leaders, Russell Westbrook is first, Draymond Green second, Rajon Rondo is third, Giannis Antetokounmpo with four triple-doubles, fourth in the NBA. When you look at what Giannis has done, I think uh, it, it clicks. And I, when I talk about Russell and when people ask, you know, I think, they finally digest, you know, what they're able to do, and uh, they kind of, they get it, and uh, it's clicked for uh, for Giannis, you know, understanding the, you know, passing the ball, making plays for your teammates, uh, being able to finish, being able to get to the free throw line, and then being able to help your team rebound the ball, and uh, and I think what you have seen from him is that's who he is, a guy who can fill up the stat sheet. Thanks for watching Bucks.com TV.